Thanks everyone for coming. Thank you for the applause. Um, tonight is a pretty big night for me. Uh, this is my second book, Other Lives for the Desert. It is um, mostly based on one year that I spent driving a big truck, 18-wheeler uh, across the U.S. And um, <laughs> I'm excited to read it here tonight. I've got some video projection. Regarding this shirtless, thir what is it? What is it called? Shirtless Thursday? Yeah. Topless Thursday. No, no, no. Uh, well, topless Thursday. Yeah, if you, uh, is girlfriend agreeing? How, how could this? <laughs> this is not. I'm sweating. Yeah, we all are. Honey. I have no words. I didn't know about this. That's what I was going I to say. I didn't know about this. Think I knew about it's this. It's not a thing. Yeah. I was there. It's not a thing. Yeah, it's not a thing right now. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mull that over until the second round. I think that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna start this first bit uh, song video. I can't remember when or how I came up with the idea of traveling the country in a big truck. I think it was around the time that Francine and I took a trip up PCH to Big Sur. It was morning, hot July, with windows down and Francine's hair blowing around. She looked like a beautiful sea creature that grew legs and climbed into my car. Her smile was like a child's, but a child who is slightly unhappy. Birthday party canceled, but still there was cake. An odd morning. We didn't talk much. All that blue sky and beautiful coast and naked bodies on the beach and the cars with children in the back seats, screaming for something, something outside of the car, something within themselves, something with, which hadn't even happened yet, and the parents screaming back at them, screaming through their heads, fallen hairs, and beneath the skin, sprawled spider vein screams, <laughs> screams for their dreams, which were directly ahead past that bend. No, not that one, the one past the next, just around the corner from the end. <laughs> 